Hi, I'm Tam with Esco with your solar storm forecast for the week of November 9th. Now, just when we thought we were going to get a respite from all the flare activity, the sun is at it again. Region 2205 is just poking its head around the east limb, and it is firing M flare after M flare. There's been no less than six M flares since November 2nd, and when we take a look at the magnetic activity on this thing, it's really magnetically complicated, so it is continuing to fire flares. It, Mars has also been getting a lot of solar storms recently, because with these flares are coming these solar storms. So Mars is getting pummeled, and that may be Earth's uh, in situation here in a few days. You see that X flare right there? That has actually sent us our first Earth-directed solar storm, and I'll talk about that in a minute. Switching to our flare meter, you can see the X-ray flux really began to die down around Halloween when uh, Region 2192 disappeared behind the west limb. But then activity started picking back up again when 2205 showed up, and you can see one, two, three, four, five, six, and an X flare that have occurred all within this last week, and that Region 2205 isn't even at the center disk yet. Switching to storm levels at Earth, you can see we really haven't seen all that much activity recently, except there was a grazing passage from a solar storm uh, that went east of us back on November 4th and 5th. It wasn't enough to get us at the storm levels, but it was just right below that, yet it was still enough to get us some beautiful aurora in Tasmania, as well as Russia, and also some gorgeous aurora glow just below the horizon, believe it or not, in Colorado. Switching to coronagraphs, this shows all of the solar storm activity that is being launched during these M flares from region 2205. You can see Mars is being pummeled by at least one of these storms a day. And as this region rotates around toward Earth, it's going to start hitting us. There's the one on the 6th, uh, that's partially Earth-directed, and there's the one from the X 1.6 flare that is Earth-directed. So unlike region 2192, this one is a big storm producer, and it's likely to produce even more storms as time wears on. Switching to prediction models, this is NASA's version of Enlil. You can see that solar storm that was launched on the 6th. It's going to miss Earth just barely to the uh, east. Uh, the impact footprint shows it's just kind of grazing Earth, and that should happen uh, late on the 9th and into the 10th. Then that solar storm that was launched during that X16 flare, that is coming out here, but that one is going to be a direct hit, and that should hit us sometime uh, on the 10th, so it's going to be a one-two punch, both of these storms coming run, one right after the other. So what else does the sun have in store for us this week? Well, this is stereo. It's our backside monitor. You can see here's Earth, here's the sun, and here's stereo A looking at the sun from behind. And you can see we're tracking two different regions here. Region 2192, which was that super region that is still well formed and it's still flaring. And region 2187, which is also a region that's been around for a while, but it's still showing signs of, of more activity. Now 2187 is just about to rotate onto the east limb right now. It's becoming visible. So we should start seeing even more flare activity and possibly more solar storms picking up in the next week. Returning to the disk, you can see regions 2201, 3, and 4 are moving off to the west limb. They've been reasonably stable. The main player has been region 2205 that's been shooting M and X flares, as we said, and it still hasn't rotated to central disk yet. We also have region 2207 that's just come along. That's part of that region that's associated with that 2187 from the backside, so I expect that that region will be uh, upping the activity also in the next few days. Switching to your solar storm conditions and aurora possibilities over the next few days, we are expecting that one-two punch from those two solar storms to hit us right around the 10th. So NOAA has issued a G2 alert, which means we have a moderate storm uh, conditions on the 10th, probably into the 11th as well, uh, both at high latitudes and at mid latitudes. We're not expecting to have any grid issues at this time for power grids, but expect you to have some issues with uh, GPS and maybe some satellite phone or satellite internet issues, and of course, some wonderful aurora. Uh, it'll be on the lookout for that because uh, that could come down to even low latitudes as far south as Colorado again or even further south. Uh, then things should probably die down unless uh, that region 2205 fires more solar storms at us, which is highly likely. So we may not see anything settling down even through the end of the week. Switching to your solar flare and particle radiation storm outlooks over the next few days, NOAA has uh, upped our M flare threat level to 70% with an X class threat level of 30%, and that should persist uh, probably through the course of this week with region 2205 being the major player. Of course, region 2187 is going to be a region to watch uh, and 2207 uh, as they begin to rotate more onto the disk. For regarding particle radiation storm outlooks, we do have the risk set at about 10%. We are in normal conditions right now, but we do expect that the risk for a particle storm will increase as region 2205 approaches the west limb. 
So this week looks to be very exciting. We have that one-two punch from that set of solar storms that should hit us late on the 9th into the 10th and possibly lingering through the 11th. So you might expect to see some issues with your GPS or maybe satellite phone or satellite internet or any satellite-based services might be affected for that period. Also uh, expect to see some gorgeous aurora that could possibly be down uh, into mid-latitudes uh, into Colorado or even possibly further south. Also, uh, you ham radio operators expect to get some disruptions during that period. And of course, region 2205 is still very flare active. It is firing flares at us pretty much daily. Uh, so you ham radio operators expect to get some more radio blackouts and disruptions probably over the course of this week um, as, as the uh, flaring continues. Also, we have region 2187, the old region that's been going to rotate into, into view, so we might have more flare potential and more storm potential later in the week. And then that monster region 2192 shall reappear on the east limb in about four days. So again, if that is still putting out M and X flares, we could possibly see the next two weeks being very flare busy. I'm Tamitha Scove. Thank you for watching.